Assalamu alaikum. Hello my dear students. So in the previous class we were discussed about uh, the small intestine. Okay. So what is the what is the special part in the small intestine? It is the villi. Villi helps to increase the surface area. Okay. And uh, we also learn about uh, process is uh, assimilation. Okay. So uh, that uh, complex substance side of proteins in a body utilize in you know, the body utilize the complex substance such as proteins and that process is called the utilize the utilizing process is called the, what the utilizing process is called the assimilation. Okay. And so in this class we are going to discuss about the last, uh, last the second last part of the uh, digestive system that is the large intestine. Okay, so we already learn about what we already learn about the small intestine and what is the length of the small intestine? It is 7.5 meters long. Okay, the small intestine. So what about the length the small intestine? It is 7.5 meter long. Okay, 7.5 meter and uh, the length of large intestine. Okay, now we are discussing about the large intestine and the length of large intestine is how much? The 1.5 meter. Okay, so comparing these two values, which is smaller, the large intestine is smaller. The length of the uh, the length of the large intestine is smaller because it is 1. Point, uh, because it is 1.5 meter and small intestine it is 7.5 meter. Okay, so uh, the length. So the length of small intestine is 7.5 meter and large intestine is 1.5 meter. Okay. So the almost digestion is completed in the small intestine. Almost digestion is completed in the large intestine. Le completed okay. And small intestine is the undigested and unabsorbed food that goes to large intestine. Okay. The undigested. Okay, so the digestion is almost completed in where the digestion is almost completed in the small intestine. Okay, and the remaining undigested food and unabsorbed food. Undigested food, unabsorbed food, digested avatim, absorb avat food, the undigested food and unabsorbed food that goes to where that goes to the large intestine. Okay. So, the digestion is almost completed where the digestion is almost completed in the small intestine and the undigested and the unabsorbed food that goes to the small intestine and small in the large intestine is 1.5 meter long and small intestine is 7.5 meter long. Okay. So, uh, 1.5 meter long. Its function is to absorb water and some salts from the undigested food material. And what is the other function of the large intestine? It absorbs uh, water. Okay, it absorbs uh, water and some salt. It absorbs some water and some salt from the food. Salt and water absorb. There is another uh, another function for the large intestine. What is that function? It absorbs what? It absorbs uh, salt and water from the food. Okay. Then uh, the remaining waste, the remaining waste passes through uh, through the rectum and remains as uh, semi-solid feces. The fecal matter is removed through the anus from the time to time. This is called a ejection. From the uh, small intestine and the food in the water and salt to absorb in. And the digestion is almost completed in small intestine and the unabsorbed and the undigested food that goes to large intestine. Okay, and the remaining, the waste is that expelled out through the rectum and anus. Waste evade kuda, edile kuda parthu to onu, the waste removed through the rectum and anus. Okay, rectum and anus. So, the waste. The food in the waste under law, number of proteins, well, and food in the proteins and the other components in the food are absorbed by our body through this different parts. Okay, number of food, food in the number of no, the digested down, the digested arm, uh, useful components or the useful proteins or something like that, it absorbed by our body, and the waste it uh, then it's expelled out through the anus or the rectum. Rectal lodeim, anus lodeim, e waste is a nino per thota pogono. 
okay these are the uh, digestion process in humans so what are the uh, digestion process what are the different components that involved in the digestive system that is buccal it is start from the our digestion start from the buccal cavity then it goes to the esophagus from the esophagus it goes to stomach and after the stomach it reaches to small intestine large intestine and the waste that removed from our body through the rectum and anus this is the path of our food or the, this is the digesti digestion process that takes place in our body okay what are the different parts first digestion start from the buccal cavity and it goes to es uh, esophagus then it goes to stomach large intestine small intestine and uh, what is the final part in the uh, digestive system it is a rectum and anus the waste expelled out through the rectum and anus okay this is about the digestive system in humans and there are we learned about the different process that takes place in uh, human digestive system so what are the we are going to discuss about the, uh, the different process that involved from the start to end okay start till the end vera kore process nammada body il nadakkunnundu adu endakkiyana onnamathe the first one is ingestion okay what is the first process ingestion okay ingestion the second one the first process is ingestion the second process digestion okay the first process ingestion the second process digestion then digestion after the digestion what is the process absorption the, our small intestine absorb the food material absorption then this uh, in Uh, in small intestine another process assimilation because it utilizes our body the protein or other component that utilizes by our body assimilation and the last one is what ejection okay now ejection okay the waste removing our process are ejection okay so what are the different process that involved in the digestive system the first one is ingestion food take in you know, that is the process food take in you know, our process are ingestion and are another then our body then end in the digest in the hip in all a so the first process is ingestion food taken by our body the process of food taken by our body is called ingestion then the second process is digestion okay it is Uh, digest digested the food material and then absorption our small intestine absorb the food material then assimilation id use in assimilation is what assimilation is the use uh, usage of uh, food by our body assimilation is the usage of food by our body is called uh, assimilation the last process is ejection adayad waste ne remove in a process anandha nu parayunnathu ejection nu parayunnathu so these are the different process that involved in the in our digestion okay what are the process okay what are the ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection these are the different process that involved in the digestive system and uh, now we are going to learn about the uh, digestion in grass eating animals okay grass eating animals la digestion aanu what are the grass eating animals cow uh, buffaloes then uh, goat that are the grass eating animals so now we are going to learn about the grass eating digestion in grass eating animals okay so now we are going to check what about the uh, digestion process that takes place in the grass eating animals okay so have you observed cows buffaloes uh, and other grass eating animals chewing continuously even when they are not eating adayathu eat cheyatha pole endey idu eat cheyadane shesham kore samay endey ingane chew cheyidonde irikku ingane chavachu nammal ayavettu anna ka parayalle chavachu onde irikku okay so have you observed cows buffaloes and other grass eating animals chewing continuously even when they are not eating eat cheyatha samayathil endu continuous aayittu endu inu idu chew cheyidondirikkunnu alle so what happens there the uh, the thing is that endana ayinte kaariyam ennu parayana actually they quickly swallow the grass they quickly actually they quickly swallow the grass and store in the part of the stomach stomach and the part is called a rumen okay അതായത് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പെട്ടെന്ന് തന്നെ ഗ്രാസിനെ ച്യൂ ചെയ്യുന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് ദ ക്യുക്കിലി സാലോ ദ ഗ്രാസ് ദ ക്യുക്കിലി സാലോ ദ ഗ്രാസ് ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റോർ ഇൻ ദ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റോമക്ക് ഓക്കെ സ്റ്റോർ ഇൻ ദ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റോമക്ക് കോൾഡ് റൂമൻ അതായത് സ്റ്റോമ ഇത് പെട്ടെന്ന് തന്നെ ഇതിനെ ഈറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇത് സ്റ്റോമക്കിൻ്റെ ഒരു പാർട്ടായിട്ടുള്ള റൂമനിൽ ഇത് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു സ്റ്റോർ ചെയ്യുന്നു ഓക്കെ പെട്ടെന്ന് സാലോ ചെയ്യുന്നു എന്നിട്ട് സ്റ്റോർ ചെയ്യുന്നു വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് പാർട്ട് റൂമൻ ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ റൂമൻ the grass uh, eating animals stored the grass in the rumen okay rumen here the food gets here the food gets partially digested and is called cud okay cud 
ഇവിടെ ഫുഡ് അബ്സോർബ് ചെയ്യുന്നു റൂമനിൽ ചെന്നിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ദ ഫുഡ് ഈസ് ഓൺലി പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ഭാഗ്യ പാർഷ്യലായിട്ട് മാത്രമേ ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ആവുന്നുള്ളൂ ഇൻ ദ റൂമൻ ദ ഫുഡ് ഈസ് ഓൺലി പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ഫുഡ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കട്ട് ഓക്കെ പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ഫുഡ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് വാട്ട് കഡ് ഓക്കെ പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ഫുഡ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് വാട്ട് കഡ് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ്സ് ക്ലിയർ ഓക്കെ കഡ് ആൻഡ് ബട്ട് ലേറ്റർ ദ കഡ് റിട്ടേൺസ് ടു ദ മൗത്ത് ഇൻ സ്മാൾ ലംസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ആനിമൽസ് ചൂസ് ഇറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഈ പാർഷ്യ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൺലി പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റ് ഇത് പാർഷ്യലി മാത്രമേ ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ആയുള്ളൂ അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇത് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇത് വീണ്ടും മൗത്തിലേക്ക് ഈ ഫുഡ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻട്രി ചെയ്യുന്നു ഓക്കെ സോ ബട്ട് ലേറ്റർ ദ കഡ് റിട്ടേൺസ് ടു ദ മൗത്ത് ഇൻ സ്മാൾ ലംസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ആനിമൽസ് ചൂസ് ഇറ്റ് ദസ് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് റൂമിനേഷൻ and uh, endana nammal paranju the food is only partially digested in the rumen and that is called cud and this cud endana uh, cud returns to the mouth veendu endey the mouth like return cheyidu varunu the uh, the cud returns to the mouth and uh, it chew again and again okay veendu veendu adu endeyunu cheyum and these type of animals are called what ruminants okay hope you have understand what is ruminants okay what is ruminants അതായത് ഗ്രാസ് ഈറ്റിംഗ് ആനിമൽസ് ദർ ആർ എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ പാർട്ട് കോൾഡ് റൂമൻ ദർ ഇസ് എ ഇൻ ഡൈജസ്റ്റീവ് സിസ്റ്റം ഓർ ദ സ്റ്റോമക് ദർ ഈസ് എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ പാർട്ട് കോൾഡ് റൂമൻ ആൻഡ് ദ ഫുഡ് ദ ഈറ്റ് ദ ഗ്രാസ് ദ സഡൻലി സ്വാലോ ദ ഫുഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ ദ റൂമൻ ഇൻ ദ പാർട്ട് കോൾഡ് ദ സ്റ്റോമക് പാർട്ട് കോൾഡ് റൂമൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ ദ റൂമൻ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൺലി പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ആ ഫുഡ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു പാർഷ്യലായിട്ട് മാത്രമേ ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ആവുന്നുള്ളൂ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് പാർഷ്യലി ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ഫുഡ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കഡ് ഓക്കെ കഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നു ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഫുഡ് എഗെയിൻ റിട്ടേൺസ് ടു ദ മൗത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് എഗെയിൻ അഗെയിൻ എഗെയിൻ ആൻഡ് എഗെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് ചൂ ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഇസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് എന്താണ് റൂമിനേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ദ പ്രോസസ്സ് ഈ വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും അതായത് ഫുഡ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു പിന്നെ സ്റ്റൊമക്കിൽ ചെന്നിട്ട് കഡ് കഡ് ആണ് ആ ഫുഡിൻ്റെ പേര് എന്നിട്ട് അത് വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും ചൂ ചെയ്യുന്നു ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് റൂമിനേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ദ ആനിമൽ വിച്ച് പ്രോസസ്സ് റൂമിനേഷൻ പ്രോസസ്സ് ആസ് കോൾഡ് റൂമിനൻസ് ദ പ്രോസസ്സ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് വാട്ട് റൂമിനേഷൻ ഓക്കെ So the process is called rumination and the animals which process rumination process are called ruminants. So animals are called ruminants. What are the examples of ruminants? Cow, buffalo, uh, goat, uh, etc. are ruminants. Okay, so uh, we learn about uh, so many new terms here. Rumen, rumen is the part of the stomach. Cud, cud is the partially digested food. And rumina, uh, rumination is the process. Okay, rumination is the process. And ruminants are the uh animals which possess the rumination process okay this is about the rumination and uh, the grass we know that the grass is rich in cellulose okay the grass the food of the uh, cow or the buffalo is called grass and the grass is rich in what the grass is rich in there is an another new term cellulose okay the grass is rich in what the grass is rich in cellulose don't forget that the word the grass is rich in cellulose it's a type of carbohydrate cellulose is a type of carbohydrate and many an animals including humans cannot digest cellulose cellulose and uh, animals or uh, the humans cannot digest what cellulose humans in a endina digest cheyanulla ability illa they have no ability to digest the cellulose adey nammal grass kelichale adu digested aavathilla because endana അത് ആർ എവിടെ മാത്രമേ ഇത് ഈ ഗ്രാസ് ഈറ്റിംഗ് ആനിമൽസിൽ മാത്രമേ ഇത് ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ആവത്തുള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ സെല്ലുലോസ് ഇസ് എ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് കാർബോഹൈഡ്രേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇത് ഹ്യൂമൻസിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യത്തില്ല ഇൻ ദ സെല്ലുലോസ് നോട്ട് ഡൈജസ്റ്റഡ് ബൈ ദ ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ഹാവ് നോ ദ എബിലിറ്റി ടു ഡൈജസ്റ്റ് ദ സെല്ലുലോസ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് പിന്നെ എങ്ങനെ റൂമിനൻസിന് ഇത് പറ്റുക ഓക്കെ ഹൗ ദ റൂമിനൻസ് ക്യാൻ ഡൈജസ്റ്റ് ദ സെല്ലുലോസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇൻ റൂമിനൻസ് ഇൻ റൂമിനൻസ് ഹാവ് എൽ സാറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് എ സ്ട്രക്ചർ കോൾഡ് സീക്കം ഓക്കെ വോട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ടേം സീക്കം ഓക്കെ സോ ലിസൺ ടു ദ സ്പെല്ലിംഗ് സി എ ഇ സി യു എം സീക്കം ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ഗ്രാസ് ഈറ്റിംഗ് ആനിമൽസ് ഓർ ദ റൂമിനൻസ് ദർ ഈസ് എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ സാക്ക് കോൾഡ് സീക്കം okay this uh, is a special sac called a cecum and it is situated between the large intestine and the small intestine the cecum is situated between the large intestine and the 
small intestine okay so the cecum is situated between the large intestine and small intestine uh, that is cell, uh, in ruminants there is a special sac called cecum and uh, it is situated between large intestine and small intestine okay uh, the cellulose of the food digested by their action of certain bacteria uh, which are not present in the human. So, that is there are special bacteria present and this bacteria converted the cellulose or the, it, it digests the cellulose. That is there are special bacteria are present and this bacteria digests the cellulose. In cecum there is a special uh, bacteria and this bacteria digest the what digest the cellulose okay that is a speciality uh, from the human beings because it is uh, uh, in cecum there is certain bacteria is present and this bacteria converted or digested the cellulose okay so it is not present in humans this uh, cellulose is uh, this uh, cecum or the uh, bacteria the special bacteria is not present in uh, human beings and human beings cannot digest the cellulose cellulose, cellulose is a carbohydrate but humans can uh, cannot and then I digested okay so uh, there is a small portion exist we, uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, amoeba okay so now we are uh, we were learned about uh, uh, grass eating animals how the digestion uh, takes place in the grass eating animals and uh, the last section we are going to learn about uh, what amoeba okay amoeba so what uh, amoeba okay in the last section we are going to learn about what we are going to learn about amoeba say the spelling a m e o b a okay amoeba sorry a m o e b a okay a m o e b a this is the spelling of amoeba okay amoeba is a microscopic uh, microscopic organism that we can uh, see with our naked eye. naked eye we can only observe this amoeba through the microscope. Microscope is the microscope. It is present in the water. Water is present, but it cannot uh, see with our naked eye. Namada eye we can only it is a microscopic organism. Amoeba is a microscopic organism and we can't see uh, with our naked eye. Okay, naked eye we can see with so how this uh, how the digestion takes uh, process takes place in amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organism unicellular and not cell in human beings there are millions and million trillions of cells are present in human beings but in amoeba there is only one cell and it is called the amoeba is a unicellular organism amoeba is what amoeba is the unicellular organism okay so how the digestion process takes place in amoeba in amoeba, there is a uh, structure called, there is a projection, there is a pro, uh, projection called pseudopodia. Okay, what? Pseudopodia. False feet. Pseudopodia is otherwise called false feet. Okay, false feet. So, in amoeba, there is pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is otherwise called false feet. It is a part of the amoeba. Pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is otherwise called what? Pseudopodia is otherwise called false feet. Okay. We, uh, so, what is the structure of amoeba? It is shapeless like this. Okay. The structure of amoeba is like this. It is shapeless. It have no shape. Shape uh, like this. Okay. And in amoeba, there is a centrally located nucleus. In amoeba, there is a nucleus and uh, in amoeba, there is cytoplasm. Okay, cytoplasm and there is food vacuole. Okay, in amoeba, there is food vacuole. So, what are the different parts of a amoeba? In amoeba, there is a nucleus. Okay, in amoeba, there is a nucleus and uh, there is also a food vacuole. Okay, food vacuole. And cell membranes also. Uh, nucleus is pseudo food vacuole and the food this, this this is the important part of the amoeba food vacuole and there is a nucleus also in amoeba it's shapeless amoeba is shapeless so how the uh, process how the digestion process takes place in amoeba we are going to check about that okay in amoeba it's a unicellular organism in amoeba there is a projection called a pseudopodia pseudopodia is otherwise called a false feet pseudopodia is otherwise called what pseudopodia is otherwise called a uh, nana false feet okay uh, it pushes out one more finger like projections the pseudopodia is what pseudopodia is the finger like projections 
Ningala finger like a projection pseudopodia amoeba. There is a part called pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is uh, pseudopodia is the finger like a projection. Pseudopodia is otherwise called what? Pseudopodia, pseudopodia is otherwise called false feet. False feet and another. Okay. Amoeba feeds on some microscopic organism. Amoeba is also microscopic and it also feeds microscopic organs. It feeds the feed is the same as microscopic organs. Okay. And when it senses the food, the food is sensitive. It pushes out pseudopodia. This amoeba amoeba pushes out the pseudopodia. When it senses food, the food is the same It pushes the what? It pushes the pseudopodia and around the food particle and engulfs it. Okay, that is uh, when it senses the food, it pushes out the pseudopodia. Pseudopodia push, push, starfish in the case of starfish, it uh, expelled out the stomach through the mouth. Mouth is the stomach. Like this, like that in amoeba, it pushes out the pseudopodia. It pushes out the pseudopodia. Pseudopodia pushes out the pseudopodia. engulf in food in the pseudopodia. Pushes out the pseudopodia around the food particles and engulf it. That is why we do Food in the chutum is pseudopodia and engulf it. So that, that is the process what takes place in the amoeba. Amoeba is the food process. The food becomes trapped in a food vacuole. The everyday is trapped in the food vacuole. The food is trapped in food vacuole. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, digest, uh, digestion process that takes place in the amoeba. Okay. So, uh, amoeba is a unicellular organism. Uh, there is a finger like projections in amoeba. It is called pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is otherwise called false feet. And uh, when it senses the food, food in a sense, it pushes out the pseudopodia and pushes out the pseudopodia around the food particle. Food particle is a pseudopodia which is a valame. Engulf is a valame. The food becomes trapped. Food in a trap, valame. Food in a valame. Pseudopodia is a food in a engulf. In the food becomes trapped in food vacuole. Food vacuole food vacuole is trapped. So, this is the process that takes place in the amoeba digestion process and digestive juices are secreted into the food vacuole. Food vacuole like digestive juices. In human beings, in liver there is digestive juices. This digestive juices help to digest the food. Food in a digestion is a high in a digestive juices. Like that in amoeba there is also digestive juices and this digestive juice help to digest the food. Okay, and they act on the food and they break it down to simpler substance. And this, uh, food in a simpler substance can in the inner help you know this uh, digestive juice. Okay, and gradually the digested food is absorbed in the inner you know, gradually it is food in the absorb you know the, uh, the absorbed substance are used for growth, maintenance and multiplication. In the neck you see in the growth and maintenance and the body the amoeba the body the it is used to uh, for the growth and maintenance. Maintenance and growth and maintenance. The uh, uh, digestive process that takes place in amoeba. And uh, there is a comparison. There is a uh, similarity with the humans also. Because in humans, uh, the liver secrete digestive juices like uh, humans. In amoeba also, it secrete digestive juices. This digestive juice helps to digest the food. This is similarity between human beings and uh, amoeba. So, you don't uh, forget about the pseudopodia. Pseudopodia, uh, pseudopodia helps to capture the food food in uh, amoeba okay this is the last section of the chapter hope you have understand uh, well, the large intestine and uh, uh, the ruminants ruminants and uh, in the last section we were discussed about uh, amoeba the unicellular organism and how the digestive process that takes place in the amoeba uh, and there is a uh, part called pseudopodia otherwise called the false feet pseudopodia is a finger like projections okay hope you have understand uh, and we can uh, see on the next class. This is the uh, last section of the chapter. Okay. Thank you.